Hey everybody, my name's Jason. Let's talk watches. Before we begin this video, I'd like to preface by saying that this watch was sent in to me by Gorilla Watches. It was an unsolicited gift from them, and I'd like you to know that this watch review is going to be as unbiased as possible. I'm as interested as you guys are in making sure that quality watches are what we put on our wrists, and, and I wouldn't want to taint that in any way, shape, or form. This review, while it, will, will, while it will have a lot of my opinions, is going to be as factual as I possibly can make it. So let's begin. In 2015, Octavio Garcia and Lucas Gopp decided they wanted to begin a new venture. They wanted to start a watch company that used cutting edge materials and mixed it with classic 60s muscle car design. And with that, we get the Gorilla Fastback. Born and raised in Chicago, Octavio Garcia was influenced by cars, comic books, and urban art. Basically everything pop culture. This led Octavio to studying product design at Art, Art Center College of Design in Europe, where he was tutored in Switzerland. This is where his passion for horology began. In 1999, he began designing watches for Omega, where he worked until 2003, when he then moved on to Audemars Piguet. He left AP in order to begin working on his own watches. He wanted something that combined his love of 60s muscle car with modern materials and a watch that could be had by anyone at a price that would be nice and affordable. Lucas Gopp was born and raised in Austria and spent his spare time cycling all over the Alps. He witnessed it over a short amount of time how much bicycles seemed to evolve, from steel frames to aluminum to carbon fiber. It was breakneck in its speed at which it changed. This evolution triggered a love of design in him, so he enrolled in the industrial design program at the Instituto Europeo di Design at Creative Academy in Milan. I know I butchered that and I apologize. From there, he worked with Sector Watches, IWC, Ralph Lauren, and finally Audemars Piguet. Gorilla Watches combines the concepts of power, performance, and rarity, and they came out swinging with their all-new Fastback series of watches. First off, let's discuss the packaging. We have a nice outside box with a tonal gloss back black logo on a matte black box that seems to make this image really pop. It shows a lot of attention to detail. While it's not terribly thick, the cardboard does serve to protect the inner box quite well. It's actually kind of impressive. The main box really is a treat. If you like modern design from companies like Apple and Google, you'll appreciate this a lot. Again, we went with a matte black box with a gloss gorilla on it this time, and then they chose a really nice embossed gold font for, the, for it. It shines in a really, really nice way, and you get just a hint of glitter on it. It actually makes you think you're getting into something very special. When you open the box, you're greeted by the owner's manual. Now, inside the owner's manual, they walk you through your watch and they outline the details of the two-year warranty. It's not a super dense read, it's only four pages, but really it gives you a lot of nice information and can help you um, use your watch effectively and, and make sure that it works very, very well. The watch is packed securely in dense closed cell foams and it holds the watch in place very securely. This watch doesn't move when you put it in here. It holds up really well to shipping and secures the watch, meaning you'll have really no, we no worries if you have to send this watch somewhere or even when it's being shipped to you in the first place. That can be a concern sometimes. Watches do get banged around a lot, and if they're not secured down, they, they can end up getting a little bit damaged during shipping. I don't think that's going to be the problem here. This particular model of watch is the Fastback RS White model. The color is very striking and it's guaranteed to draw attention quickly. The first day I wore it, the first person who saw me, they commented on my, new, on my new watch. Now, usually with me, when I'm wearing a new watch, it gets very little attention, but this one really made a statement. The watch features a slew of high-tech materials that really pushes forward the message that Gorilla is trying to put across. On the watch, you have a case that's made out of forged carbon fiber with an aluminum plate on top of that and a brilliant white ceramic top. The sapphire crystal has an anti-reflective coating on both the inside and outside, meaning they have great legibility. I did come across a small issue on the top of my watch, though. These four titanium details that sit 
on the four corners, one of them sits slightly higher than the rest. I'm inserting a shot of it here so you can see that it catches ever so slightly while the other one is quite flush. This is really only noticeable when you're running your finger across the top of it and it doesn't catch on any surfaces at all as it's only about one one thousandth of an inch tall. It's really not noticeable. It is, it is something though that is on the watch and it is something to know about. The mix of materials that are used in this watch really offer a nice combination of textures and it should offer you a fair bit of a durability in the long term. Carbon fiber, as we know, is one of the most strongest material, or one of the stronger materials out there today. We also have titanium, which is super, super dense and strong. And there's also the anodized aluminum in there. And then this ceramic is actually really, really, it's, it's kind of impact resistant, so it's actually quite nice. The white band is made of rubber, which is quite supple to the touch. There's a feeling of quality behind it. And it's something that can really be tricky to achieve with a rubber band but I believe they really knocked this one out of the park. They did a great job with it. It's really nice and soft. I, I love the feel of it on the wrist. It sits very comfortably. The white band does pick up some dirt over time, but luckily that dirt's easily cleaned with just some soap and water. It's a pretty common issue with white bracelets, so it's not an issue with Gorilla exclusively. What is nice is that just a simple little bit of soap and water, it comes clean right away. The ease of cleaning means this watch can stay looking bright for a long time with just a little bit of care. You can even take it into the shower with you and while you're, while you're soaping up, wash it off and it'll be nice and clean. The only problem I encountered with my particular band is that there was a little bit of flashing left in, in one of the small holes. The worst of it was on the, on the side with the buckle and I'm inserting a little shot of it here so you can take a look at it. And it covered about a third of the hole. Now, as you can see on the other side of the watch, it's not as big a problem, um, but it, it's still it's something that I did encounter. You could remove this flashing with a little pen knife if you wanted to, if it did bother you at all. I'm unsure if this problem appeared on any other bands, but it was an issue on mine, so I did feel the need to point that out. The dial is really quite legible and features multiple levels. It makes you want to stare at it for a long period of time. It's just a really, really unique design that, that shows off a lot of really nice characteristics. The loom is quite bright and it's easy to read in the dark. Some may criticize the lack of loom on the second hand, but as this isn't a diving watch, I don't see this really as an issue at all. This is more of a driving watch. It's more of a watch that's, that's sort of made to be used in the bright sun, things like that. So you won't necessarily need the second hand to be as, uh, as visible at night as, as uh, it, would, it would be on a diving watch. The case is made from forged carbon fiber and it's really quite exquisite. It catches the light in subtle ways and it makes the surface appear to dance. The super high-tech material is something that's usually not seen in the watch industry. Um, a lot of the times right now, companies like Panerai and Hublot are using carbon fiber, but they're using it in a layered format. They're not using a forged carbon composite like this. Those watches cost a whole lot more than the Fastback and I think Using such a high-tech material as this forged carbon fiber, it's a pretty big deal on a, for a small-time watchmaker on their first time out. The titanium crown is easily grasped and it's very positive disengagement and engage, engagement on it. It feels really, really nice in the hands. The anodized aluminum stripe on the case also gives a nice visual punch to the design and makes it stand out even more. The case back is solid titanium and it's deeply etched with the Gorilla logo as well as some information about the materials in the watch and some of the features. It shows the elements of carbon, titanium, and aluminum, which I think is a really nice touch, showing sort of the high-tech nature of this, giving us the elemental symbols. I really, really do like that. The watch is waterproof to 100 meters, and with the positive engagement of this crown, I don't doubt that at all. It really is a really substantial watch, and I think you could be safe with, with taking this into your normal swimming and not really worrying too, too much about it. The titanium buckle features an etched Gorilla logo on the back of it and a really grippy diamond pattern on the front. It really adds a bit of sparkle to it actually and it's a nice texture. The Fastback features a Miyota 8215 self-winding movement. Now that movement normally has a date function and on this watch it doesn't. But it's a 21 joule non-hacking movement with 40 hours of power reserve. Now from the factory Miyota says that this watch will do minus 20 to about plus 40 seconds. However, over the course of nearly two weeks of testing the watch, I got it to running within 5.5 seconds slow per day. In order to achieve that timing, I did something that I normally do with watches, which is that I store, store them one day crown down, 
the next day crown up. And by rotating them back and forth, I was able to find out that it runs a little bit slow in one direction, a little bit fast in the other. And I was able to balance out the timing on it really, really well. I mean, getting it down to 5.5 seconds a day slow is, is pretty impressive for a watch that's not been regulated. Overall, I think the Gorilla Fastback is a superb outing for Octavio and Lucas. And I really do think that they have a unique looking watch with a lot of high-tech materials. And it really stood out to me. There were a couple of flaws with my particular watch. Um, the small flashing inside of the hole and the little bit of a proud uh, titanium bump on the top of it. But I was it, really able to overlook that because it's a genuinely impressive watch. To realize that this is their first outing as well is, is phenomenal. The Fastback's priced at $880 US on the Gorilla website and I believe it's worth the price. To come in with so many unique specialized materials and a really, really amazing design, the Gorilla Fastback in RS White has really shown that it can punch above its weight. I really like this watch and I think it's going to go in my regular rotation. I want to thank you guys for sticking around and I really hope you enjoyed this review of the Fastback RS watch from Gorilla Watches. I'm going to leave a bunch of information down below so that you can review the watch for yourself, take a look at it, and, and take a look at their website as well. I've also left a link down below to Puku Pals. Now, Puku Pals is the maker of this really, really awesome little backpack for kids. Some of the cutest designs you've ever seen. Really, really high quality materials. And if you make a purchase from them right now, you'll currently be helping to fund this show, which with the new YouTube rules is really, really important to, to make sure that we can produce high quality content like this again for you. So remember, my name's Jason, this has been Let's Talk Watches, and I hope you have a good night.